now sweet cheesecake. You want hey, hey, good morning. Welcome to this new video. I just got to the bike shop at Coors because today Frank and I are going to look at the new spin on these wheels and compare them to the fake head wheels that I bought earlier because I want to know what the difference is between a really awful carbon wheel set and a good one. Assuming that this is a good one, I, I've been riding it, feels really good, but Frank knows all about it. So uh, I'm just here to pick his brain on uh, and learn something about how carbon wheels are either good or bad. Is it? Good. Yeah. Yeah. What do you have to hear? Preparing uh, a tubeless wheel. Exactly. Cleaning. It smells. It smells <laughs> really bad. <laughs> I did this with uh, Diamond last week. Okay. And we really struggled getting the tape on. Is it's there some uh, kind of uh, <laughs> yeah. a trick? Just clean it really, uh, really properly. Yeah. Start good and just it really, really, really tight. tight. The beginning is the hardest part. You see it, it wrinkles and that is bad. If that comes loose then there will be uh, some sealant underneath the uh, tape. Oh, yeah. Loose. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> that was too tight. My name is Jane, Mary Molly, Coco Butter Cherry John. I don't have time to waste. I should be working on my essay, not dead and blaze. Naked on the couch with you. What's that? <laughs> That's a real head. A real head, we say. <laughs> I built an, uh, a power meter in it. Ah, yeah. So, this is the first time I've seen a kicker climb uh, for real. And you rode it already. Yes, I did. Was for it any? Yeah, was it was any fun. good? Yeah, it was fun. I'm I'm a little bit worried that it's super unsteady. No, it's okay. If, especially if it goes up, that you're like wobbling. Yeah, you're wobbling a little bit, but I guess you don't have to. It's not made for sprinting. Yeah, but it's not that. that no. No, it's. You essay, I must be hey. Uh. Right. So what I wanted to do is to check the new wheel set, mm -hmm. see if my feeling of it being super stiff and uh, yeah I think it's really really comfortable I feel that all the power that I put down is actually going turning into speed and of course the disc brakes are absolutely amazing yeah they are That's but I want to see if it compares to uh, what makes the difference between a, a good wheel set like this and a bad one like the fake heads that I think you told me was probably the worst <laughs> wheel set that you've ever seen. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. So first uh, thing we have to figure out what kind of uh, spokes he used. This one. Uh, I think he makes them himself. Okay. That's quite nice. Then we have to figure out the dimension of the, of the spokes and check out if the tension is the same. I, yeah. can, I can't say anything about the quality no. uh, of, the, of the rims or of the spokes there. Duh. Yeah. Uh, but I can see if it's the, the build quality is, yeah. is, is, is right. So uh, let's check it out. Because what makes the biggest difference in a built wheel? Is it always how it's built? Or does the rim and the... Uh yeah, it's a, it's a combination of both. Yeah. So that's why I'm, uh, I'm, I'm choosing my, my product where I work with. And uh, uh, if I see, for example, three rims are, that are not that well made, uh -huh. yeah, okay, then I, yeah, I uh, don't use it anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. So this is my starting point, and if we turn the wheel, you can see that the uh, clock is moving. Yeah. And it uh, says something about the uh, the roundness of the wheel. Yeah. And yeah. I mean, now it it moved a bit. Mm -hmm. Was that a lot, or was it? It's uh, on the edge, I think. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's still yeah. acceptable, but not. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's not it's a, it's a acceptable. Yeah. Uh, so now I'm checking the spoke tension. And it's quite, uh, it's well built. Yeah, I did the test with my uh, nails mm -hmm. and it sounds the same. Yeah, it sounds the <laughs> same. Spoke. There's one spoke who's a little bit off. Maybe that's the reason why it's not that... Uh, true in one place. True in one place. Yeah. And I see he uses other spokes on the... Yeah, it's true. But yeah. he also made a video about that. Yep. Uh, I don't know, if you look at... Um, Spin on these their own channel. Mm -hmm. they, there is a reason for it. I think it's something to do with uh, how much tension you have to have on the drive side and the other yeah. side, and that he prefers putting a lot of tension on a round spoke or something. Yeah. Something like that. 
Yeah, I, I agree. I'm really happy with the uh, round spokes. I, I love to use round spokes because you can build a little bit yeah. more precise. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 But aero spokes is okay as well. Yeah. Do you think they make a big difference in how, is how fast the wheel is? It's, I think it's a little bit faster, yes, but do you do you know it? Do, do you uh, uh, feel it? I don't know. Yeah. No, I, I don't. I'm not sure of that. No. Yeah. Do you still have that chocolate chip cookie ice cream? I need to find a replacement to all my dreams, baby, baby, baby. You're so crazy, crazy. About the spoke tension, because you say yeah. that the spoke tension is really high compared to what you would normally do. Yes, I think, uh, th in my opinion, the spoke tension is in the, in on the high side. The problem with high uh, spoke tension is that it's the, the, the possibility of, uh, of, of failure is a little bit higher. Mm -hmm. For example, if you see this hub, I got this in from another client, another wheel builder did this, uh, did, did the wheel. Yeah. And, uh, in my opinion, the spoke tension was too high as well. And, uh, so. uh, the the hub failed, the so hub. Yeah. 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 But uh, I think, in my opinion, every wheel builder has his own story, yeah, exactly. and uh, he got his own reason to to uh, to do a high spoke tension. Yeah. So well, I want to know why he yeah. does this. Yeah. yeah. So we should set something up. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah, it would be interesting. I really like that he has got his own uh, opinion, his own parts. He uh, do, does uh, everything himself, and I'm really curious why why he does that. Yeah. Uh, I think it's really interesting. Yeah. yeah. Should we then check the uh, head wheels that you respoked to see yeah. if there's still some any tension <laughs> on those? Yeah, we can check it out. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, the front wheel, the spoke tension, I uh, I adjusted it. Adjusted it. Yeah. And the uh, rear wheel, I totally relaced it with new spokes. With new spokes. Yeah. There's a little bit, but not really. The wheel is almost the same as I uh, gave it to you. Yeah. It looks uh, it looks quite nice, I think. I'm really happy to see this. And is there anything other than uh, a, a wheel like this being built in the right way and the spokes being right that that really makes a difference between this wheel, for example, and the spin on these wheels and the wheels that you built? Is that what what is the biggest difference between that? Uh, I think if you check the, the way the rim is made, I think there's a lot of difference. Yeah. And I think I'm not that really fond of straight pull hubs. Yeah. This one is straight yeah, pull. Yeah. Uh, for example, spin on these, and that's what I uh, really like on the spin on these. Is that is a J band. J band. Yeah. A J band, in my opinion, is always stronger, uh, stiffer. For that's that's uh, the main reason why I always use uh, J band. So if I compare the the two wheels. Uh, uh, yeah, the components itself, it's it's a lot better. Yeah. Yeah. Right, I'm heading back home. Super nice to have a guy like Frank that can always teach me something about wheels. And of course, I'm really happy that he also thinks it's a pretty decent wheel set. Even though I already felt like that when I was riding it. It's good to have a backup that I don't have to be as worried as I was when I was riding these fake head wheels on any descents or in sprints. It's getting really cold. I hope that this weekend I can do a long ride with Gordon. We're going to try to look for some cobbles and then hopefully I can use the full potential of the width of these wheels to get a comfortable ride on the cobbles. I hope you have a nice weekend and then I will see you next week in another video. Bye bye.